Karen, is uh, Lily the only one that got your cameo right in Game of Thrones? <laughs> the deal? Did you see all the different spottings of you? On yeah, media? I did. Which, what's the right one? Uh, it wasn't the, the guy that got burned up. And I'm disappointed in every person who would actually say that was me. Because if you watch that person run, they're a total non-athlete. <laughs> total non-athlete. And, and I wasn't the archer either. Although that person definitely looked like me. Um, <laughs> so you were the one near the bell tower. Sure. sure. Were you satisfied with the ending of Game of Thrones? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the show, and I and it was a great ten years. But uh, but no, I mean, you come down to the end, and Tyrion says the person with the best story is Bran, <laughs> who, by the way. Three episodes ago, said he wasn't Bran Stark anymore. No, John had a better story. Danny had a better story. Arya had a better story. Sansa had a better story. Tyrion had a better story. Varys had a better story. Braun, a lot better story. Jamie, better story. Cersei, probably better stories. Any Baratheon, better story. So who should have been on the throne? I mean, I think, I think Danny should have been on the throne. Here's the thing, though. Here's my th here's my last theory about it. if Bran, the three-eyed raven, who, who's you know all about the health of the realm, let's think about what he did. He basically wanted the throne the whole time because he's the one that told the Starks, knowing that Sansa would tell Tyrion, knowing that Tyrion would talk to Varys, knowing they'd scheme for Danny's death, knowing that would piss her off, which led her to be the Mad Queen. So he the entire time kind of set this whole thing up, and at the end he goes, "Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want to be king. Oh, but why did I travel all this way to be here?" No, look, I, I love the opportunity to be in the show, which most people probably don't think I was, but I was there. I love the show, but uh, you know the writers are also doing Star Wars, so I think they might have been a little busy this last season. <laughs> do, you expect a, do you expect an invite back on one of these spinoffs? I hope so. I want a bigger part though, John. You could have been a wildling, though. <laughs> You'd be perfect. <laughs> Aaron, you see a lot of celebrities and you know, non-football players come to your games. What was it like for you to just be a part of a movie set like that, and a show set like that, for that experience in the whole? I can tell you, in Belfast, they didn't care at all. They had no idea who I was. Um, it was fun to be a part of it. It's been, you know, like I said, I love the show. It's a fantastic show. It's been a lot of great seasons. But... Um, you know, my favorite person I got to hang out with there was this Irish boxer who was our driver. He was amazing, and, and we got to hear some of his stories. But, but no, they didn't care at all. The writers were fantastic. They were there, and it was fun to see them. But uh, the fun thing for me is uh, is going and watching the Bucks. And I know we got a big game coming up here uh, tonight. But uh, that's that's the most fun set to be on, especially with the you know, the way we've been playing.